again, One Church. My name's Katie and I'm one of the leaders at One Church Dover. I hope you really enjoyed listening to Rachel Bainbridge's short thought last week with the verse that had blessed her in lockdown. I have another verse for you today that's blessed me uh, while we've been in the different lockdowns over the last 14 months. And then do watch out next week for the final uh, short thought in this series from Sue Walker. It's a really great verse from her next week. So I've chosen uh, today a verse that uh, comes from Ephesians 6 verse 18 and I'll read it to you. And pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Over the last year or so, I keep coming back to the importance, the requirement of the fact that we need to be a praying people. We've had some great times of prayer, even though we've hardly been able to meet together. We prayed through May. We've had periods of 24 seven prayer. We've had our great times on a Friday morning and our monthly prayer evenings. So what does praying in the spirit on all occasions look like? Well, I was thinking of a saying I remember hearing. I, I don't know where I heard it or who it originally comes from, which is saying that you pray until you find yourself actually praying, which might seem a little bit strange, but you pray until you actually find yourself praying. And I think what the person who shared that meant was, you pray until you're actually communing with God. There's no half-heartedness to your prayer. There's no tokenistic nature. There's no just uh, wanting to go through some sort of pattern. You're praying to communicate with God and you're hearing from him. You know, the Bible teaches us that some of the things that the Holy Spirit does in our lives is he convicts us of sin. He draws our attention to Jesus and he glorifies Jesus. And we know that, or I know and have found that when I pray in the spirit, my whole being is involved. My emotions, my soul are engaged and I begin to hold on to God's promises and I continue to pray and I want to receive more. We can come to Jesus however we are. We might feel a failure, we might be acutely aware of our sin, but we know that as we pray, he receives us because he came for us and gave his life for us. So I think when you pray in the spirit, you definitely don't hurry your prayers. You probably need to confess your sins and you start to look to Jesus. You start to consider his kingdom, how you can glorify him and how others can come to know him. I think as we start to do that, what happens is a sense of excitement and expectation rises in us. Faith is there, fervour is there, and we're also often humbled whilst at the same time being exhilarated and we exalt Jesus. And this means we end up really praying for others. And it gives us an assurance that we know our prayers are going to come to pass. So understand that you can pray in the spirit on all occasions for all God's people. Why not try and do that regularly, often, and pray until you actually find yourself praying?